Hello guys, welcome to Talking Point with Stevo. On Talking Point with Stevo, it's a platform where we can where we bring issues, where we bring discussion uh, on, on national, local, and, and, and uh, international issues, policies, perspectives, you know, to further entrench, you know, um, quality debate and quality discussion around issues that affect us, you know, when it comes to sports and football in particular. All right, so uh, we'll be kicking off with the um, recently concluded African Cup of Nations, AFCON 2019, hosted by Egypt. Uh, we've all seen it. It's happened. We've, we've seen it for the first time, you know. Um, Africa is bringing about 24 countries uh, to um, vie for just one, one, one trophy. I'll say three trophies. The, 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 the Nations Cup itself, the silver medalist and the bronze medalist. This is first for the first time where 24 countries, you know, participating in the in the competition. It has always been, you know, 16 all the way. So I'll be looking at five talking points. I'll start from the way. Uh, my number five will be the introduction of VAR into the AFCON. For the first time in the history of AFCON, um, uh, video assistant referee was introduced in the just um, concluded AFCON uh, from the knockout stage. And it was interesting because before then, there were a lot of issues, there were a lot of controversies, there were a lot of um, talking points, there were a lot of, you know, back and forth as regards um, uh, the, the, the issue of VAR. As it comes to stay in football, is it just a testing point? The human, the human nature, the hero, you know, that makes football interesting. The first point of call from the referee and all that. The other school of thought equally feels that, um, you know, bringing VAR, it's uh, as the name implies, is to assist the referee to, 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 to take the appropriate and correct decision. So, in the course of balancing this thing, we, we, we look at um, the female World Cup that just ended in France, the, the, the on the 20 World Cup too, and we saw VAR, and we saw a lot of controversies. Uh, Nigeria had you know terrible experience and just concluded female work up and, and all that and um, so there's apprehension uh, at the African continent level you know bringing VR for the first time to Africa and all that but uh, by and large you know when we look at it on, on, on a large scale eventually uh, I think it was good in my own view it was not um, it was not bad you know since it's in, in the introduction we had one or two, um, you know, you know, development. The Bafana Bafana's um, goal against the, the Super Eagles of Nigeria at the quarter final uh, that was um, ruled out to the offside. Uh, the referee had to discuss with the VR guys, and they eventually ruled it that was, you know, correctly, uh, you know, that was just a goal against Nigeria. Uh, the final two, we saw another VR major uh, issue. Um, the, the, the referee actually pointed to a penalty. Uh, against um, Algeria, but after consulting with the VAR, and um, the penalty was uh, ruled off, ball to hand, out to ball, uh, as the case may be. So VAR has come to stay in Africa. It has come to stay in African football. So we can only say we need to move with the entire world. The entire world is becoming digital. VAR is to assist the assistant referees, to assist the referees, and so we welcome VAR to African football. Uh, my number four, uh, my talking point today, will be Egypt as the host nation. Um, we know the Egyptians, we know that they are lovers of football, we know, we know that they, they love football with a lot of passion. Talk about uh, El Ali, talk about uh, uh, the Arab contractors, the Ismaila, you know, a lot of football clubs that actually reach the pinnacle of CAF Champions League and you know a lot of African competition and, and all that. Uh, so we expected the crowd, we expected you know passionate crowd to come to support to see this. Unfortunately, the only matches that we saw, you know, the crowd, you know, filling up the stadium to the brim are the matches that involve uh, the Egyptians alone. And you know, they got booted out at the second round uh, by the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. So um, what we experienced eventually, even to the final, was a mixture of, you know, scanty people at the stadium and all that. It was not too good uh, in terms of the level to which uh, uh, CAF, the level to which AFCON has come, you know, since 1957 in Sudan. They're talking about the Nations, Nations Cup that's, you know, that's over the years involved 
you cannot in 2019 be experiencing that kind of thing. So, Kevin was to host, but you know, with a lot of uh, internal issues, Kav had to give uh, the, the, the hosting right to Egypt, like a palliative, like a uh, rescue mission kind of. That could be part of the reasons why, you know, but then overall, I think that the Egyptian did not um, respect uh, the, the World Cup of Africa. And I call the, the Nations Cup, the AFCON, as, as the World Cup in Africa. That's the biggest competition in Africa. So, you know, all the kind of, uh, the, the, the utmost respect ought to be given to, to the Nations Cup. But unfortunately, we didn't see that in, uh, uh, in, in Egypt. That's my uh, number four talking points.